This is a quick video guide to show you how to use your LGFL OTP second factor authentication code to access various LGFL services. For information on how to set up second factor authentication with LGFL, please see our other video. Link is in the description below. The OTP code is needed for numerous LGFL services, but we'll only be covering the support site and remote access in this video, though to be honest, once you get the idea with these services, any others that require OTP will be very similar. The first portal we'll cover is the LGFL support portal. Open your browser to support.lgfl.org.uk, click the padlock link in the bottom right hand side, and log in with your LGFL username and password. If you have an OTP tag registered, you will be asked to input the next six digit number displayed on your phone here. And then click login. The next example is remote access using Freedom to Roam. If you visit freedomtoroam.lgfl.org.uk or freedomtoroam.ngfl.net, depending on whether your school is an LGFL or NGFL school, or in other words, inside or outside of London, when you log in this time, enter your LGFL username in the first box. And then in the second box, enter your LGFL password. Followed by a full stop. And then followed by the next six digit code on your phone's OTP app. And then click login. For remote access via Cisco AnyConnect, the process is very similar in that you type in your LGFL username in the first box. Uh, it could be followed by an at and then a seven digit DFE code if you're registered to multiple schools simultaneously. Um, and then your password followed by a full stop followed by the next six digits from your OTP code. And once that's done, click OK, and you're logged in. If you have any problems with any of these logins, please raise a case on our help desk, and a member of our team will assist you. 